Hi Pisces, it is Sunday today, October 22nd, 2023, and it's time for our daily get together. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? What's happening with Pisces? Pisces, let's see what's going on. The very first card you've got is the Fool. This is Aries energy. And then you have the Queen of Swords. And the Hermit, Virgo energy. And then you have the Six of Wands. And Temperance, Sagittarius energy in the center of your reading. The Two of Cups. The King of Swords. And the Six of Cups. And the last card you have is the Devil, Capricorn Energy. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. There's something here that you're worried about, Pisces. And it has to do with the fact that I feel like um, you have jumped into something and you're kind of wondering whether you did the right thing or not. Because the fool is here. So there's something here that you've jumped into. You've gotten yourself into something. And whatever this is, there there is a good energy to it, but there's also something about it that has you up in your head like this with the Queen of Swords. And it's like you're kind of spinning off into hermit mode, you know, wanting to get away so that you can think. There's a lot about thinking here about what's going on in your mind. Why is the fool here, spirits? Why is the fool here? Yeah, see, a lot of thinking. Now you have the Ace of Swords. I feel like something big has changed in your life. The Five of Pentacles is here. And then you have the Five of Cups. So you may be thinking maybe something costs too much there's too great of an ex expense here because i'm seeing regret next to the five of, of cups when it comes to whatever you took a leap of faith on whatever you jumped into here it it's good it's like ascended you to a new level it's a whole new life but at what expense and that's what's got you up in your head with the Queen of Swords here. Tell me why the Queen of Swords is here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay, there you are, the Queen of Cups. I feel like you're very emotionally involved with the process or of whatever this is that you've jumped into. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Pisces. It feels like it's a connection with someone here, though. You have the Two of Cups. So why is the Queen of Swords here? Do you, I mean, you're emotionally invested in something where you just can't walk away you have the chariot cancer energy and you have the eight of cups so what you're up in your head about is how do i get out of this situation that i'm in and on the other side do i really want to get out of it and i'm feeling like what's you're feeling like you're being pulled in two different directions here and things are moving too quickly it's almost like, what did I get myself into? Everything's moving so fast. 
And I think I told you guys the chariot is cancer energy, but it is the fastest moving card in the tarot deck. So this is why I'm seeing you like this, you know, in hermit mode. It's like, hold on, back up. But even though you're in hermit mode here, it's like you just can't find the answer. And what you can't find the answer to is, is this really what I want? The situation that you got yourself into, and it could completely have something to do with you're not sure about someone else's intentions. You know, because you, you have a huge investment here with your time, with your money, everything that you've taken a leap of faith and you've jumped into. Tell me why the hermit is here. And you do have the King of Cups here. So we have the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, and the King and the Queen of Cups. So this is a match. Whoever this person is, they are matching with you. You got all of these queens coming out, Pisces. And you're feeling like this. You're feeling, oh, you know, these swords are your thoughts. Actually, this card doesn't have the swords on it. It's got the birds on it. But there's one on either side of your head. There, There's a voice inside of your head on one side saying, go this way. And on the other side, no, let's stay here. This is what you wanted. And what's showing up here is the two directions that you're being pulled in is... On one side, you've got this Queen of Wands energy. So you've got like this very fiery, passionate connection with whoever this person is, you know, that you're holding hands with here. And on the other side, you're holding back. Um, you, you could have someone invested financially with this person and it's putting a strain on your wallet, on your money. That's not for everyone though. But your mind in hermit mode, it's like even though you back up and you take some time alone to try to figure this out, you still, was I better off alone? You, you are still questioning yourself. And at times you may come up with this full-pledged plan that I'm going to run away. I am going to get away from this connection. But something always pulls you back into it again. And you're keeping it a secret. You're keeping it to yourself. All right. Here you are, the High Priestess Pisces energy. You're keeping this fight in your mind, a secret. You're not telling other people about it. Okay, and then let's move it on because now you have the Six of Wands showing up here. Why is the Six of Wands here? The Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords. I want to know who this is, Pisces. I want to know if you're lying to yourself or if you have a sneaky energy around you here with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords because I'm not sure who that is. But what I... I am seeing, on the other hand, the cards that came out with it was the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. And so I'm feeling like whoever this person is, they are, they do something here to change your mind from feeling like taking off and running away. There's something they do here. And whatever they do, they've done this before. I have the Wheel of Fortune here, so... They're looking out into the future, whatever they say to you, it catches your eye and you're like, okay, I, I believe them now. Why would they say this if it wasn't true? 
Okay, so we actually have winter here right now. Why is the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords here? Let's find out who this is. The Page of Wands. What? So right here, the energy is showing me, this is Pisces Cancer energy, and this is the Page of Wands. I feel like this person did lie to you, Pisces. I was feeling really good there for a minute, but there's something this person is hiding. And you being the high priestess, you know something's hidden, but you're not exactly sure exactly what it is. Why is the three of swords here? You have knight of wands. I'm feeling like what is hidden, what do you don't know? You feel like something's wrong here. And this person could have some type of an addiction or something, Pisces. Um, the devil is showing up here. And this person may try their luck. It's like this is someone who likes to be recognized, likes to be noticed, likes to put themselves out there. And so that's even why you're questioning this person. Okay, let me grab another deck here. And let's clarify temperance, Sagittarius energy. Temperance. Why is temperance here? Pisces, whoever this is, we have the Page of Pentacles again. So whoever this person is, they are they're wanting to put you at peace with temperance. They're trying to keep you calm. And I feel like, I mean, ugh. I feel like they apologize for their actions, even whoever this is. But again, whatever this person has recently done, I feel like for most of you guys, but the timeline could be off. It's like um, they're showing up here as someone that might be holding on to their money really tightly. But there's this energy of them holding something back from you. And then you have the Ten of Swords here. So... There's, there's an energy here of a painful ending, which you may be sitting in right now, but this is a karmic wheel that's, that's spinning around in your energy. There's something here that keeps repeatedly happening between you and this person, and I feel like you've lost trust with them. But whoever this reading's for, whoever this particular message is for, I should say, the next message is the two of you holding hands. So let's clarify that. Like almost like there's a reconciliation taking place. Tell me why the two of cups is here. Why is the two of cups here? The six of cups. I'm seeing communication coming in, Pisces. The Three of Swords. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Look at this person. The Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. And... 
a soul connection. This is someone that, someone that is a soulmate sent here to teach you a lesson. And let me ask the question one more time because we had the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords come out already. What is this person doing, spirits? What does what does Pisces need to know? Why is the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords here? There's, there's a third party situation for someone. You have the Empress, the Queen of Cups. You've got two people here. And you have the Five of Pentacles. So this person, like I said, they might be broke. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? I'm trying to get too specific here because this is a general reading, but let me see what happens. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? This person is communicating with somebody. They're going back and forth with, with someone else um, where they're where there could have been a block in communication. This person, they might be an ex or something, but this person has some type of communication going on that they're not telling you about. And so the energy here is feeling very distant between you and this person. And then you have the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? All of this is going to boil over, Pisces. You don't see it yet, but I'm seeing an argument taking place when I look into the future. All right, you have the Eight of Swords, and you have the Two of Wands, and you have the Eight of Cups. So, I feel like you're going to be, you're going back to the energy of this person could become very cold and distant with the King of Swords energy, and I'm seeing... It's like you're you're up in your mind, up in your head again with the Eight of Swords and standing at the crossroads wondering which direction to go. And I'm seeing you walking away here with the Eight of Cups. But this person it is a karmic wheel. This person's going to be crying, come back, holding out their hand, come back, Pisces. This is someone, this is Capricorn energy. But this is someone that is depending on you for something. And it's going to be different for all of you. For someone here, I definitely see financial dependence. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here? The Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, Aries Energy... There may be an age difference here that is significant, but energetically, um, this person is showing up as a knight when your energy is showing up very strong. You have the emperor -er and like empress type of energy here, but I'm seeing, you know, the cycle closes out with the world and where I see things going here is I'm seeing this person coming to you. You know, with the Knight of Pentacles energy coming to you, you'll be thinking about this person when you walk away. Because I feel like there could have been some damage done here because there's a plan that hasn't completely um, been finished. There's unfinished business between the two of you. And I'm seeing communication coming in with the Ace of Swords. And then the Devil comes in. Come back. Come back, Pisces. Let's do it again. And the temptation for you is real. It's a very real temptation. And I think I just said the devil is Capricorn energy. Why is the devil here? Come back. 
causing confusion. Why is the devil here? This person's, I mean, not this person. You have Aquarius energy here with the star. But the devil is here because this devil energy is trying to cause you to feel vulnerable. And to carry around burdens that don't even belong to you, Pisces, with the Ten of Wands. And it's a lot of confusion, a lot of being up in your head, up in your mind, feeling stuck. So, let me get you some Moonology cards for advice. In fact, I feel like for a lot of you, you you felt like you felt like this pretty much through the whole relationship, how long ever long you've been with this person. I'm feeling like there's been confusion the whole time, but you kind of this is something that you wanted. Tell me why the eight of swords is here. Why is the eight of swords here? Pisces. Gold digger, they want your money being used. And for some somebody watching me right now, I know this is the case. I'm seeing money here. And then you have um, vacation. You will be traveling soon. All right, and then let's get some advice. I want you guys to... To ask your angels and your answers, your angels and your ancestors a question, and um, choose number one, number two, or number three, or choose more than one if you're feeling called to do that. If you choose number one, you have the answer is no. And remember, I like you guys to have a backup angel answer card when you ask these questions because this is a general reading so take what resonates and do not take what is not yours if you chose number two you have improving health number three get more information now we will get your moonology cards for advice What does Pisces need to know? You have last quarter moon and in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. And new moon in Gemini. Th think it through. All right, Pisces. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And, um... I will see you guys tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that you can find us again here easily. And you guys who have been with me, you know, I love you guys so much and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And we'll meet here again tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.